China, land of dragons, dumplings, and driverless karaoke booths on wheels. It seems the Middle Kingdom's appetite for innovation extends beyond the dinner table and straight into the fast lane of the electric vehicle market. Forget heated seats and fancy sound systems. Chinese EVs are rolling out with features that would make even Willy Wonka raise an eyebrow. We're talking built-in karaoke machines, tea brewers, and even fragrance dispensers that'll make your car smell like a blooming jasmine garden. It's a wild, wonderful world of automotive oddities. And frankly, I'm both fascinated and slightly terrified. But amidst this symphony of strangeness, one feature has bubbled to the surface, steaming with controversy and dividing opinion like a pair of chopsticks in a shared hot pot. Zika, the EV subsidiary of Chinese automotive giant Geely, has decided that what you really need while navigating rush hour traffic is a steaming bowl of hot pot. Yes, you read that right. Forget drive throughs Zika is bringing the entire restaurant experience into their vehicles. The public's reaction, as divided as a bowl of Sichuan peppercorns. Some are salivating at the prospect of in-car culinary adventures, while others are questioning the sanity of it all. Is this peak innovation or a recipe for disaster? One thing's for sure, Zika has certainly gotten our attention. But is this just a flash in the hot pan, or is there a method to this automotive madness? To understand this surge of unusual features, we need to rewind a bit. China's car culture is relatively young. For decades, car ownership was a luxury reserved for the elite. But with the rise of a booming middle class and government incentives for electric vehicles, the market exploded. Suddenly, everyone and their grandmother were buying cars, and competition among manufacturers became fiercer than a kung fu tournament. In this battle for buyers, standing out from the crowd became crucial. Enter the era of automotive one-upmanship. If brand A offered heated seats, Brand B had to counter with a built-in foot massager. It's a classic case of supply and demand, with a dash of keeping up with the jangs thrown in for good measure. Now, back to the hot pot. While the idea of a rolling restaurant might sound appealing after a long day, it does raise some eyebrows, particularly when it comes to safety. Driving and dining don't exactly go hand in hand. Imagine trying to navigate a roundabout while simultaneously fishing for a slippery dumpling. Or worse, spilling scalding hot broth on yourself during an emergency break. It's a recipe for indigestion, if not a full-blown accident. One can only hope that Zika has considered these potential hazards and implemented appropriate safety measures. Perhaps a spill-proof design, or a system that disables the hot pot function while the car is in motion. Otherwise, this culinary innovation might end up getting served a hefty lawsuit. Safety aside, let's address the elephant in the room, or rather, the hot pot in the car. Is it really practical? Sure, the idea of enjoying a steaming meal on the go is tempting, but the logistics seem, well, messy. Where do you store the ingredients? How do you clean up the inevitable spills and splatters? And what about the lingering aroma of chilli oil permeating your upholstery? These are questions that require answers, not just from Zika, but from any automaker venturing into the realm of in-car dining. Because let's be honest, a car smelling like last week's hot pot is not a selling point for anyone. The question remains, are these outlandish features truly innovative or are they just gimmicks designed to grab headlines and boost sales? It's a fine line and one that Chinese automakers 
seemed to be walking with the grace of a drunken panda. On one hand, you have to admire the sheer audacity of it all. In a world where cars are increasingly becoming computerized appliances, these quirky features inject a much needed dose of personality and fun. They challenge the status quo and force us to rethink what a car can be. On the other hand, one can't help but wonder if these features are actually addressing real customer needs or simply preying on our desire for novelty. After all, a car's primary function is still transportation and while a built-in karaoke machine might be entertaining, it's not exactly essential. Section 7. The Wow Factor. Marketing magic in the EV market. Let's not be naive. These quirky features are, at their core, marketing genius. In a crowded market vying for attention, sometimes you need more than just a sleek design and impressive range. You need that wow factor, something that makes people stop scrolling and say, did you see that car with a built-in tea ceremony set? And it's working. Chinese EV brands are generating buzz sparking conversations, and ultimately, driving sales. Love it or hate it, you can't deny their effectiveness. Whether these features become standard remains to be seen, but for now, they're serving their purpose, getting people talking about Chinese EVs and establishing them as innovators in the global automotive landscape. Section 8. Functionality first. Do these features solve real problems? Here's the thing. While a karaoke machine on wheels might seem frivolous, some of these gimmicky features are actually addressing practical concerns specific to the Chinese market. Take air purifiers, for example. With China's well-known air pollution issues, having a car that doubles as a mobile clean air sanctuary suddenly becomes less of a luxury and more of a necessity. Similarly, features like in-car cameras and facial recognition technology, while raising privacy concerns, also cater to a society with increasing surveillance. It's important to consider the cultural context when evaluating these features. What might seem outlandish in one part of the world might be perfectly sensible in another. Section 9. The future of car AZ. What's next in China's EV scene? So, what does the future hold for China's quirky car scene? If current trends are anything to go by, we can expect even more unexpected and eyebrow-raising features in the years to come perhaps cars that transform into mobile karaoke booths at the push of a button, or vehicles equipped with drone delivery systems for your mid-journey snack cravings. The possibilities are as limitless as a bowl of bottomless hot pot. And frankly, that's both exhilarating and slightly terrifying. A final word on China's gimmick galaxy. China's EV market is a wild ride a fascinating blend of innovation, practicality, and sheer, unadulterated gimmickry. While some features might seem like solutions searching for problems, I'm looking at you, in-car hot pot, others highlight a genuine desire to enhance the driving experience and cater to specific cultural needs. Whether these features stand the test of time or fade away like a fleeting TikTok trend remains to be seen, but one thing's for sure. China's audacious approach to car design is shaking up the industry and forcing everyone to sit up and take notice. So buckle up, because the road ahead is bound to be filled with surprises. And who knows, maybe a side of dumplings. <laughs>